What is going on YouTube? It is Bakugo or Baku. I can't believe I haven't called myself Baku Bakugo in so long. Actually, I have my hero on the brain. I'm re-recording this because I went through the whole editing process, put the put the video together, and then I posted it. To just realized that I'm a complete donut and my mic was muted. So, yeah. Um, I know that some videos I talk, some videos I don't talk. Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer me to just hover over the build, or do you like me going in depth and explaining why I used it? Now, with this one, I feel as if though I have to go in depth and explain why everything does what it does because, guys, the ability spam on this build and the amount of survivability you have is absolutely absurd. So, to start things off, before I even get into the build, the Claws of Amkara for me, as a Warlock main, have always been just not good. Um, I just never saw a use for it. Um, maybe it's because I was ignorant to build crafting and I just used what was meta. Um, and then Prismatic happened and the exotic class items and I've been using Spirit of the Claw on a lot of my class items and I, I fell in love with it. So then I went into it further because I didn't know that Claws of Homecara got buffed. So it intrinsically has hands on, meaning powered melee kills give you an orb of power. When I found this out, I, I knew what I had to do. I had to make this build. So, let's start off with the subclass. And I'll try and explain this as the best I can as to why everything synergizes the way it does. And then you'll see in the video uh, how fast the abilities come back um, and how much you can actually just spam everything. And I mean, when I say that this is literally the sun in the palm of your hand, it literally is. Yes, that is a Spider-Man reference. Yes, I am a nerd. I apologize. Let's get into it, though. I won't waste your time. So we're utilizing Song of Flame, obviously, because the the damage reduction is absolutely freaking phenomenal, and it's just overall a great super. And plus, as a Warlock main, who really wants to use well anymore? I mean, let's, let's be honest. So we're utilizing Phoenix Dive because it has the lowest cooldown, and we want to spam our class ability as much as possible. The glide really doesn't matter. I found that burst glide on mouse and keyboard just feels better, but totally up to you. We're utilizing the center area snap because it scorches targets, and then we're using our fusion grenade, which on upon detonation it scorches them as well. Um, we're utilizing touch of flame because fusion grenades explode twice, not only spreading scorch but also igniting enemies. Then we're using Helion. Whenever you use your class ability, you get this little buddy, the Solar Mortar, as it says, and targets damaged by this will become Scorched. Okay, how does this all play together? Well, going into the fragments, we're going to look at Ember of Singeing. Your class ability recharges faster when you Scorch targets. This is huge because you will always be Scorching targets, meaning the 55 second cooldown that you have, um, which I don't distinctly know if it is uh, 55 seconds I know base is 55 seconds but with me having six tier six recovery I don't know what the, the I'll, I'll have to look at that sorry if I'm blowing over my words anywho we're gonna go into the next one which is apply more scorch text now why is this important right this feeds directly into this the more you scorch the more class ability you get Meaning you can always spam and get that little buddy, your Helion. So then looking at Ember of Searing, this is also important. Defeating Scorched targets, which you always will be because everything you do is Scorches everything. We will be creating Fire Sprites. Fire Sprites, my apologies. Fire Sprites give you grenade energy. Now how does this play into all of it, right? So then we go into Ember of Mercy. When you revive an ally, you and other nearby allies gain restoration. Also, picking up a fire spite, sprite grants you an additional restoration. So this means that you don't have to re res your teammates, because maybe you're doing a flawless activity, right? But creating those fire sprites, picking them up, will grant you restoration. So all of these feed into each other really well, and all of the abilities, the ability spam, all the Scorch, you'll always have your abilities up at all times. Now, before I get into the armor set and the weapons, I want to talk about the stats for a little bit. 
So in PvE content, especially in game, you always want 100 rezo. Please don't look at that seven. It pains my soul. I literally couldn't get it any per, like, I, I just couldn't get the perfect triple hundreds that people like to see. Intellect doesn't matter on this build because you will always have your abilities, you will always spam your abilities, and you will always be able to get your super. Discipline and strength are a must on this build. You want to try and if you can manage to pull off the stats that I have, it's literally perfect. Sure, the the actual perfect build would be quad hundreds, right? Because then you'd have it, it would just be overpowered. But I think 30 to 40 recovery is good enough for this build. I went with 60 because it was available to me, and why not? Uh, luckily, I was able to get triple hundreds. So if you look at the cooldowns. My strength has 41 second cooldown. My grenade has a 36 second cooldown. Now, this, when I go into the, the, the mods that I'm using, right? If you think about it this way, all of, of these cooldowns will be so much lower because of everything that you are applying to it. You get, with Claws of Amkara, you get two melees with the grenade. Your grenade hits twice. You're always scorching things. And then when you use your class ability, you're also scorching things. So let's go ahead and go into the armor. So we're using Ashes to Assets, which gives you super energy. And since you're always spamming those nades, why not, right? I'm using Double Connect Siphon here. Whatever weapons you decide to use, obviously you use the Siphon mod. This really doesn't matter. This is per personal preference. Uh, and I'll explain more when I go into the weapons and you'll, you'll see why. Um, so since we already have uh, hands-on, we are utilizing momentum transfer, causing damage with a grenade, which you do twice, uh, grants you melee energy, and then we're double double dipping into impact induction, causing damage with a power melee, attack reduces your grenade cooldown. The chess piece really doesn't matter, it depends on the content you're doing, the damage, you can switch this, it, it, this really doesn't matter, I'm not going to waste your time on that. Now this is where the orbs of power come into play, okay? So you want to rock double recuperation because every time you pick up an orb of health, you or orb of power, you get health back. This, along with fire spite, means that you are pretty much unkillable. Now you can die. There, I think there's a part in the run where I died twice. Of course, I, I cut that out just to, you know, so it wouldn't convolute your screen. And uh, but I did, I did die twice, and it was because I made the mistake. I didn't grab my fire spites. I didn't get my restoration. I got too greedy, etc. Um, and then you have Absolution. Reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an Orb of Power. So, moving on from that, we're going to double dip into Bomber. So every time that you use your class ability, which you will always be using because you'll always have it, you get a reduction to your grenade cooldown. So, your class ability feeds into your grenade. Your grenade feeds into your melee. Your melee feeds into your grenade. All the while, scorching things feeds back into your um, your class ability, and the loop just continues. Now, since you're using your class ability so much, we're gonna rock Reaper here to get more orbs of power, which also feeds into Absolution. You see what I'm doing here, guys? This build is absolutely just ability spam of the Lord. Now, when it comes to weapons, and of course, this is personal preference. The only weapon I will say right now, you want to rock. Dragon's Breath for this build. Allow me to explain. When you hit a target with this build, it applies Scorch Stacks, which feeds into your Fragments. Not only that, the more things you Scorch, the more fuel you get, the more powerful your next rocket will be, which also feeds into High Octane. Igniting nearby targets partially replenishes the fuel. This weapon refills itself from reserves upon gaining maximum fuel. You always have maximum fuel. When you watch the run, I literally never reload the rocket. The rocket always has one in ready for when I burn the champs down. And guys, when when I say burn the champs, it's literally you set the champion on fire and the champion has no no reason to survive. So, my weapons of choice, obviously the Lost Sector today is Overload and um, Barrier. So I went with my Heal Clip Incandescent Hand Cannon, obviously incandescent, can scorch targets. It can also ignite them. Heal Clip heals you upon reloading after a kill. This also it plays into the, the loop of keeping yourself alive 
but like you know obviously if you're alive you're, you're scorching more stuff you're spamming more abilities it just makes an easier time for everybody now smite of marin the heart and soul to this build i know i know outbreak perfected is goaded hear me out okay so i still need to fully upgrade this weapon obviously so i utilize and i didn't know that i was sitting on a gold mine when i did this but i was so demolitionist every time i use my grenade it fills the magazine from reserves when i get a kill with this weapon it generates improved amount of grenade energy firefly precision kills with this weapon increases reload speed and causes the target to explode dealing solar damage to nearby enemies i mean it speaks for itself guys at the end of the day what weapons you choose is up to you um but i highly recommend this build i have it's actually my favorite warlock build that i've ever created just from the 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 ability spam and the power fantasy that it presents um if you guys want me to make a prismatic version of this i can give it a shot let me know in the comment section below again if if you prefer me talking and explaining the builds let me know as well if you just like you know quit yapping so i can just see what you have and then i'll apply it and do it that way that's fine um i'm not gonna explain the artifact because obviously the artifact does help the things that but you can't always rely on the artifact right i mean the artifact amplifies your build but i mainly go for the build itself and um how it performs so uh yeah i have been bakugo or baku i did it again i'm such a drone uh and i'll see you guys in the next one